Welcome to BB Knows Best. Today, I want to talk to you about my first time as a philanthropist. Everyone, everyone has a philanthropist inside. A lot of times, people think that philanthropy is all about to be very rich and then help others, right? No, everyone who has an aim, an objective, and a desire to help others, it is a philanthropist. So remember, there is a philanthropist, a philanthropist inside of you. So let me just explain why sometimes people call me philanthropist. Well, the first time that I went to Africa and I went to Ghana, I got a piece of land. Yes, just something like that. It's a long, long, long story. It's not a story for today, but that's okay. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of hints. And I wanted to help and do something for this village called Kokofu. And it was the chief of Kokofu who really granted me with this amazing gift. That really was the reason and how I became a philanthropist for my first time. It was not something that I planned to do long time and I was never this kind of person who really wanted to become a philanthropist or anything like that. It just happened. But when I was in the situation and I make a decision about to help, you see, I realized that you don't have to look too far look for your passion look for the things that you really love and there you go that is going to gonna find how you could help others so don't try to be so complicated there is causes that are bigger than you and maybe you don't they don't even relate to you so just use a cause that really calls your soul this is the reason why i end up doing libraries because that is exactly what calls my soul see i'm here in my own library, a place that I love. This is why today I make the decision to tape this video here because it's a place that I love, that I feel comfortable. I love to be surrounded by books. So that's important when you're looking for a project that you want to volunteer, you want to help others, trying to find something that really resonates with you and that it's something that you love so much that you're gonna do no matter what. So you don't have to really overthink, just that things that you love are gonna be really the compass to find how you could help others because that is all about helping others. And another thing that is important, you're looking for donations and sometimes you're thinking that you don't have the resources to start your project. Guess what? The best donation is the donation that you could do yourself, yes? You could really donate yourself with your time, with your efforts, with the love that you put in the project. Just start small, do small things, and you will see how little by, by, little by little, you will end up doing really good things. Let's, you see, I'm gonna share with you, for example, that so many times the volunteers and myself, we have to put all the books in, uh, in our luggage in order to go to one of the libraries to stock up the books, with, uh, to stock up the libraries with books. So, you know what, just do something, do something small and remember that that donation is the most important donation of all of them. The donations that you put yourself. And then, you will realize that you will find people who will help you. And that takes me to the next point. You don't really have to do this alone. Yes, because an image of a philanthropist is someone who is a multimillionaire that is just doing this amazing project. But it doesn't have to be like that. You're really gonna have people in your way that when you explain them what is your objectives, they will love to help you. And then you will build together and you will be walking towards your dream. And one day you will make it happen. So just be patient. Some projects take three years to make them happen. And some of the projects that I started, 
Eventually, they fell down and they didn't work out in the way that I wanted to. But you never ever give up. At least you've been trying. And because you had so much fun doing it, it does not matter. So here, um, I mean, what is important is to just make sure that you do the best you can with your time. And look for a strategic partnership. That is also very important. Sometimes you need to make the right partnership with other organizations that can help you. And they're gonna give you that push that you need to make that project happen. You see, it's so important that you realize that when you have a passion and you can help with that passion, it's something really beautiful. You know that we always say at BBLP, Bistila Bococo African Literacy Project, that with a book, you are never alone. But what happened is that also you will find always in the way people who will support your vision. So if you really want to do a philanthropist, don't wait, don't wait for the right moment, just start. And you might start only by volunteering and just helping other organizations with the vision that is in alignment with your own vision. So yes, you see, I have so much fun doing this. I love to do what I do. And today I wanted to share with you that part of what is um, one of my dreams <laughs> and remember there is a philanthropist inside of you looking to come out so don't let it in let it out thank you so much for watching I will see you next time Yeah.